Jethro Tull's longest song is Thick as a Brick. We decided to ask him about the band's shortest song. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Thick as a Brick is Jethro Tull's longest piece. It's 43 minutes and because of the age of vinyl, it had to be split in two. It went to number one in the US and number five in the UK. That was 1972. And we knew of course that Jethro Tull's Ian Anderson is always being asked about the piece. We thought we'd ask Ian Anderson about the shortest song, not nearly as popular, released three years later from Minstrel in the Gallery. It's one of the group's most beautiful songs, but it clocks in at only 37 seconds. It's called Grace. Even though it's so short, it remains one of my favorite Jethro Tull songs, so I asked Ian Anderson all about Grace. Well, it, it is Grace, as you would say, before dinner. It's, it's a saying of Grace, but instead of it being a, a uh, faith-based um, thanks to your God, it is more of a it is more of a thanks to the world around you, you know, your family, nature, whatever. And of course, if if you are a pantheist, you will find it very easy to blend the two: the idea of a spiritual or religious experience with that of the world around you, which is um, an extension of God's creation, and therefore one that perhaps is uh, worthy of a little summary in a few words and a tiny bit of music. But um, I, I've always tried to do little songs as well as big ones. And, you know, my, my biggest song, I suppose you would say, was Thick as a Brick, which was, you know, some 40 minutes of continuous music. And the shortest one probably was Grace, but there have been quite a few other songs that have been a minute or two minutes long. Uh, I, I like I like the idea that you don't always have to work in big, impressive um, chunks of music that, that demand a lot of an audience to listen to, whether in the privacy of your own room listening to a record or whether it's in, in a concert. Sometimes it's nice just to have a, a little short thing. And uh, on the, the upcoming tours, there's a few things that I've kind of edited down a little bit to make them fit into three or four minutes because I want to get all that material into a, a two-hour concert. I'm, I would hate to have to take a song out, and so I would rather shorten it a little bit and get the essence of that song there than not play it at all. Even though somebody's going to say, well, a minute they missed out that second verse. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yes, that. but you, you get an extra song that way. We'll have more of our exclusive conversation with Jethro Tull's Ian Anderson coming up next Tuesday. Make sure you share our video, subscribe to our channel and comment on our videos. For more on Jethro Tull, go to JethroTull.com. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.